the Greenway can be a problem spot when it comes to flooding. It's right there along the river. 10 News reporter Amy Cockrum spoke with park leaders today to find out how they think the storm will affect that area. I'm in Smith Park and this is one of the areas along the Greenway that officials tell me floods pretty easily. So this may be one spot that they have to block off starting tomorrow. Trail leaders tell me they're going to be keeping a close eye on levels in the coming days. They'll be sharing updates through the app Satisfy. There you can see whether any areas have been impacted before you head out for a run, bike, or drive. Even after the storm passes, trail leaders say they'll be busy. We are probably going to have a week's worth of cleanup from an event of this size. So just for folks to have patience and understand that it's not just this one spot. We anticipate flooding on several of our greenways in several spots. And a reminder, if you see a barrier put up here on the greenway or road, make sure not to cross it. That is a sign that there could be a safety hazard up ahead. In Roanoke, Amy Cochran, 10 News, working for you.